Roll for Crit presents How to Play Welcome To in five minutes or less or more. Welcome To is the flip and write game of building your perfect suburban neighborhood with pencils and numbers. Designed by Benoit Turpin and published by Blue Cocker Games and Deep Water Games. Your goal in Welcome To is to gain the most points by cleverly and efficiently placing numbers inside of houses. Each player will have their own sheet of paper representing their neighborhood and a pencil. There will be three decks of construction cards on the table, one side showing the symbol of an effect, the other a number. Each round, the top three cards of each deck will be flipped face up to show their number sides and placed in front of their respective decks. Each player now takes their turns simultaneously. You get to choose one of these three card combinations, meaning one effect and one number. You must choose a pairing made up of one number from one card and one effect from the top card of the deck that it's in front of. You cannot mix and match and take whichever number or effect you like. It has to be a set from the same originating deck. However, each player can choose the same or different set of cards if they wish. Once you've chosen, you'll write your number into one of the empty houses on your sheet. Everyone has an identical sheet with three streets, plus some extra scoring information at the bottom. You can write your number into any house that doesn't already have a number, under the following condition. The numbers need to be written in sequential order from lowest to highest on a street-by-street -street basis. Among the construction cards, you'll find cards with numbers going from 1 to 15. So an ideal and proper street would begin with a number 1 in the leftmost house, and end with a 15 in the rightmost house, maintaining correct number order in between. Of course, the card decks are randomly arranged, so things probably won't work out this way. Just keep in mind that only larger numbers can go to the right of a house and only smaller numbers to the left. This rule resets for each street on your sheet. Remember, in addition to writing a number on your sheet, you also have a special effect for the turn which you may choose to use. Here are your possible options and how they work. Landscaper allows you to build a park in your neighborhood. At the top of each street are a set of numbers representing parks. Cross off the leftmost uncrossed number to build a park. You must do this in the same street that you wrote your house number in for that turn. At the end of the game, you'll receive points for parks on each street in the amount of the lowest uncrossed number. Pool Manufacturer allows you to build a pool for one of your residents. If your house number for that turn was written in a house with a pool in its backyard, then after writing your number, you can circle that pool, indicating that it's been built. Then go down to the pool section of your scoring information at the bottom of the sheet and cross off the lowest uncrossed number there. At the end of the game, you'll receive points in the amount of the lowest number still showing. Surveyor lets you build a fence somewhere along one of your streets. To do so, simply fill in one of the empty dotted lines in between two houses. The fence doesn't need to be built on the same street you put your number in for that turn. At the beginning and end of each street is a white line which counts as a pre-existing fence. Any set of one to six numbered houses between two fences is known as a housing estate. Housing estates can get you points later on. Just remember, they can't be bigger than six houses, they need to be between two fences, and every house there needs to be filled in with a number for it to count. Real Estate Agent. This effect makes your housing estates more valuable. To use it, choose a column in the real estate section of your scoring area on your sheet and cross off the topmost uncrossed number there. At the end of the game, each type of estate will be worth an amount of points equal to the lowest uncrossed number in that column, whether it be a one house estate, two houses, or all the way up to six. Temp Agency. This effect can get you out of some jams by allowing you to add or subtract up to two from the house number it's been paired with. So if your number was a five, you could place it in a house as any number between three and seven. You could even turn a 15 into a 17 or a one into a zero, but you can't write negative numbers, that's just wrong. Then cross off one of the uncrossed orange boxes in the temp agency section of your sheet. At the end of the game, whoever crossed off the most of these receives seven points, four points for second place and one point for third place with tied players all receiving the same amount. BIS. This is the final effect, which allows you to duplicate a number in your neighborhood. In addition to writing down the house number from the card you chose, you also get to choose a different numbered house on any street, doesn't matter what number it is, and write a duplicate number in a house to the right or left of it. You should also write BIS there to keep track. This is the only time in the game you're allowed to write two of the same number in two adjacent houses or even on the same street. However, they cannot be separated by fences ever, so don't do it. Once you've done this, cross off the lowest number in the biz section of your sheet. At the end of the game, you'll actually lose points in the amount of the lowest uncrossed numbers shown here, so maybe don't go too crazy with this effect. Something else you'll need to keep in mind while playing are city plans. Three of these will be out each game. They act as special goals players can aim to achieve while playing. Each plan will ask you to build a certain number of housing estates in various sizes. Where they are in your neighborhood doesn't matter. As soon as one player accomplishes one of these, they write down the highest number at the bottom of the card in the appropriate spot on their sheet. At the end of the game, this number will be added to their score. 
Mark the estate you used to achieve this, as you can no longer divide that estate with new fences or reuse it for any of the other plans. Then flip the card over. Other players can still complete the plan, but they will receive a lower number of points for it. Another bonus for finishing a plan, you have the option of reshuffling all of the construction cards into three new piles. This can be useful if all the cards of a certain number or effect you wanted have already been flipped. If you are unable to place a number into any house on your turn because you have no available empty house that the number can be legally added to, then you cross off the topmost number in the Building Permit Refusal section of your sheet. You will lose points equal to the lowest uncrossed number here at the end of the game, and you lose the right to an effect for that turn. Otherwise, players continue flipping three cards each turn and playing simultaneously until one of the following things happens. A player receives three building permit refusals, a player achieves all three city plans, or a player has written numbers in every single house on their sheet. As soon as one of these three things occurs, the game ends and everyone calculates their scores according to the bottoms of their sheets, including pools built, temp agencies used, and everything else we covered earlier. If you really want to mix things up, there are also more advanced variants, including different, more complicated city plans, the ability to place roundabouts over houses, effectively splitting a street into two, but losing you points, expert rules, which give each player three cards that only they can use on their turn, while they pass their unused card to another player for the following turn, and a solo mode which works similarly to the expert rules but has a special card shuffled into the deck which when revealed flips all city plans to their approved sides for lower points. However you choose to play, just be sure to give your town a really cool name. In conclusion, flip, write a number, use an effect, score. That's welcome to, in a nutshell, did you get all that?